Hey everybody, it's Wrecker Rider, and welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. I'm actually going to be making use of a programming oversight in the game. As long as the uh, Runaway 5 bus is outside the Chaos Theater, there are no random encounters. Thank you, Zenav14, for telling me about this exploit, because I would never have found it any other way. So, shoutouts. So this means that we can go all the way through the... Uh, uh, Peaceful Rest Valley and Happy Happy Village and the Lilyput Cave without any encounters whatsoever. So I am going to meet you at the cave entrance. And we're back. We're back at the Lilyput Cave and... And Shazam! No more monsters! I guess the Runaway Five's music echoes all the way out here. <laughs> I found it really weird that that this never got tested, considering how well games were tested back then. Now, normally, this section of the cave would be crawling with mighty bears that can tear a party apart. If you open this gift box, you will find a PSI Caramel. These restore 20 PP and will be very useful in the near future. We have reached the second Your Sanctuary location. And guarding the Lilyput Step is Mondo Mole. Now, if you try to fight this guy head-on, you will lose. This guy is extremely dangerous, capable of dealing over 100 points of damage but he has a glaring weakness to paralysis. I have never seen paralysis miss on this guy. Once you paralyze him, he has literally no way to deal damage to you. So the plan from here is to just have Josh bash and Leela use thunder until she's out of PP. And don't worry about the Psychic Shield, because if it hits, then it will just eliminate the Psychic Shield. This guy's got 498 HP, so it will take time to kill him. He can cast Life Up, but pretty much all you, all you really have to do is, if worse comes to worse, you can just run him out of PP. Oops. And once Leela's out of PP, she's she really can't do anything except pray. And you don't want to pray on account that your party gets confused. So once and that's just the way it works in general, is once Leela's out of PP, she's fairly useless. If I can eliminate the Psychic Shield, I can start doing a lot more damage. The Life Up is very annoying, though, and this guy has a pretty good amount of PP. I believe he has 151 PP. So it does take a while to run him out of PP. Unfortunately. Using any other PSI on him really doesn't work, because, well, he's not really weak to it. I think he takes half damage from fire and 25% damage from freeze. Notwithstanding his psychic shield. Ha! You crit and do one damage. That's how weak Leela is. You just gotta hope he uses offense up a lot, because that's really... That, uh, consumes the most PP at 10. 
Leela will learn that spell eventually. Uh, what is my grandma doing calling at 8.30 at night? refresher from uh, Titanic Ant, which if something goes wrong during that fight, he will die. The next uh, Sanctuary boss fight is quite a ways away, but it is much, much harder than really anything that you'll have encountered up to that point. I really should be keeping track of this guy's PP. Uh, I guess I can take the time to demonstrate the prey command. What could possibly go wrong? Rainbow colored light, that revives everyone. The subtle light is the most common effect. I think it happens every 5 out of 16 times. Heavy air will decrease uh, all party members' defense inconsequential in this battle. More heavy air. Hm, apparently he's invulnerable to it. That's very strange. What I'm looking for is dazzling light. Or the, the dazzling light chasing the enemy. That does around 150 damage. That would speed this battle up significantly. There we go. That's it. That's what we were looking for. Excellent. Keep using that PP. Wow, that's a lot. Oh, he's out of PP. I don't have to worry about praying anymore. I can just bash away at him. Now that he's out of PP, he can do absolutely nothing. It's just going to take a while. When you're only doing 16 damage around, it does take a while. Ha! Ha 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 ha! Leela actually got a kill on a boss. I don't think that's ever happened. And we get PSI Freeze Beta. It's probably the most time efficient, PP efficient uh, way of her dealing damage. Baby in a red cap. Hmm. Keep that in mind. Well, I'm going to meet you guys back near the, uh, the uh, Runaway 5 bus. Alright, and we're back next to the Runaway 5 bus. Let's go to 3. Normally, if you try to take the bus, the, uh, the regular bus, to 3, it will get sent back by a handful of ghosts in the tunnel. Well, the music that is played inside the Runaway 5 bus is way too loud for any ghosts to keep chase. I guess that's the power of music. There's a gift box you can come all the way down here for, but it has just a skip sandwich, nothing consequential. Don't get me wrong, skip sandwiches are pretty...
pretty valuable, especially later on when you're trying to avoid some dangerous enemies. That's why I'm holding on to mine. Hmm, this place seems really gloomy. I thought it was just daytime in Tucson. Looks like black... Night is black here. Or black is night. Wow, I can't speak. Well, this is three, and until we... Um, until we complete a handful of objectives, we are actually stuck here. Now, the game doesn't really tell you what you're supposed to do here, but there's a graveyard to the northwest that is our next destination. And you really need to watch yourself around here, because there are some very, very nasty enemies in that graveyard. I just hope I don't run into any of the more dangerous ones, because that would be bad. Flies and a trash can. Oh, crap. Stinky ghost. Kill it. If you don't kill it, they will kill you. Stinky ghosts have around 90 defense, and they have a ton of HP. They don't really have a weakness, either. They can cast life up on themselves, they can reduce your defense. The no-good flies hit fairly hard, and they come in large groups. Pretty much every enemy around Threed is dangerous. And here's the other new enemy in the graveyard, the Putrid Moldy Man. These guys have about 201 HP, and they can make you cry. And Leela's dead. That's not good. And I don't want to use my cup of life noodles at the moment. So I guess I have to melee it to death or something. Oh, wait. Wait, no, I have all this PP. Why am I not using it? Then this is what happens in a low-level game. The difficulty of the, uh, not low-level, I'm sorry. Uh, the no-equipment run. The difficulty really spikes here. And I'm dead. Great. <sighs> Be right back. Well, that was kind of embarrassing. Take two! Oh, zombie possessors. No, no zombie possessors. I don't want to fight them. They're bad. If you stay next to the trees, you can dodge most of the enemies. At least that's what I found. This is your destination. You'll meet these two zombies guarding a tunnel, and you have to let them stare into your soul for some unknown reason. The game doesn't really give you any indication whatsoever to do this. And then you can go to the hotel and you'll see this really hot chick right next right next to it. Follow her inside the hotel. This isn't your usual hotel music. What? Whatever. Oh, crap, it's an ambush. We're losing consciousness. What? And we're inside of an underground jail cell. Can we escape? Find out next time on Let's Play Earth.